you go back in history, it's crazy to think that some of the first immigrants to Houston was from the United States. I mean, this was part of Mexico still. We're gonna be going to the original Nymphas, the originator of the fajita. And we're gonna meet with Chef Alex Padilla, who has cooked all around the world. This guy spent 18 years in fine dining, and now he's come back to Houston, back to his home. Because Nymphas is an iconic place. Right. For all the restaurants in Houston, this is the mother ship. This is where fajitas got invented it by Mama Nymphas. Here is where uh, <laughs> we go through these 135,000 pounds a year. No wonder you need a grill the size of Texas. You right. can see where we scoop the fat up just to keep the fat running into the meat. This is straight wood, huh? Straight wood. Wood burning grill. But right now we're using mesquite and almond. Pocket is just a name in Spanish, but this is outside skirt in English. Back in the days, this was a very underappreciated piece of meat. If somebody find out it was the best piece of meat. <laughs> and super flavor, super tender. This restaurant opens up in uh, 1973, and this is how it just started. Yeah. Selling tacos through a window. And now I feel like I'm living my dream, you know, the way this place turned. Welcome to Houston. <laughs> what do you think about the Mexican candies? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Chef trying to kill me right now. You originally from Houston? Honduras. From Honduras. And then you came here when you were 16 years old. My mom worked for Nymphas in the 80s. In the 80s. Single mother. Being the oldest, three sisters and myself, they see me like uh, the older brother slash daddy, you know, uh, forced me to learn how to cook at the early age. It wasn't easy. We struggled a lot. I moved uh, to New Jersey, New oh. York, and I ended up in California, where I met Nancy O. Before Boulevard, Nancy used to have a little hole in the wall. We used to have only 13 tables. We used to call that Avenue. I was barely 18. Yeah, 18, 18 years old, years old. standing next yeah. to one of the most iconic chefs in America, Nancy Oaks. What was it like cooking next to her? Let me put it this way, it was only 13 tables. Yeah. <laughs> Every, everybody was a pastry chef, everybody was a dishwasher, everybody was a butcher. And that's how I started, you know, getting... That's a training uh, ground, so you got training. to see, yeah. see all of that. In three months, I was, I was already on the grill. In the morning, you know, I was the butcher guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four years later, we moved to 300 seat restaurant and I was the executive chef. I always see Nancy like my mom and she always see me like, you know, her son and she never had. This is a street food, taking it to another level. Got a little bit of lime, rind, cilantro, white pepper, chipotle. This is cotija cheese. This is the most ridiculous part in this dish. Mezcal, look at this. Elote borracho y loco. Crazy and drunk. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Mezcal. <laughs> you feel like that corn right now. You're blowing my mind right now, chef. When I was thinking of Tex-Mex, I didn't know what to expect. 18 years in fine dining, putting that technique behind it, it's delicious. 6,000 tortillas a day. Chef, she's doing five at a time over there. You go like this. Like if you're making a dumpling yeah. or a crepe, uh, what you do is like really gently, like, see, done. I'm going so fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you can beat her, you can have the job. That's why I make Filipino food. Uh, this is this is a Hawaiian tortilla. <laughs> this is like a Hawaiian mop. Sell me out, chef. You know, the magic is, is in the hands, right? It's in the touch. Yeah. You put in your heart. Why still do it from scratch, chef? Early age, you see this, you know, your aunt, your mom, your grandma making it. So we want to keep the tradition. You're cooking here. What about mom? She raised the family through here, and then, then you're but doing the, your our life is right here. Yeah, yeah you're doing the same. I was like almost in tears, you uh -huh. know, when I saw this place again. Right. You gotta love this place. You gotta feel it. That's why in every meal we put everything in, like.
These are the tortillas made fresh every day. Now this is the one you tried to make right here. See this? Uh, turned out all right. Maybe not this perfect circle, <laughs> but it's okay. From cooking foie gras, the best caviar is like, you know, I, I'm eating fajitas now. Oh. But what is behind the fajitas is the history, and I'm part of that. You take for granted of how diverse Houston is now. Was it like no. that back in the day? 20 years ago, Houston was empty. Now Houston is like a chocolate melting pot. We're so lucky here. We want Mexican food one day, Hawaiian food, Chinese food, Italian food, French food. You name it. <laughs> yeah. It's all in Houston now. In San Francisco, I spent 18 years. 18 years yeah. in San Francisco. That makes me take the job to, you know, family. And uh, I saw my mom, my sisters. And so after six months, I started changing little, 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 little things. Quality, yeah. techniques. I like to train these watchers. I like to train prep cooks and move those guys on. I see those guys the same way, you know, I went through many years back. You're the Nancy Oaks of Houston right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's prettier than me. <laughs> I would like to show you the, the new stuff. We start with the uh, blue crab, jumbo lamb, crab cake. And it's coming with, from the wood burning oven, the chipotle sauce, and pasilla pepper. On this side, we got confit duck. Cajicama, mango and cucumber with queens paste and raspberry sauce. And this is octopus from Spain, sous vide style. And you can make tacos out of it. Definitely taking it to, to the next level. This is uh, from the Gulf, which is right behind us. Oh man, that's delicious. The sous vide. So tender. And then the duck confit, classic French style, yeah? Yep. <laughs> we went from the OG fajitas, and then we're doing duck confit duck tacos. Confit. I love it. Still feels like a spot that is of the neighborhood, but you're inserting all of these flavors that it's super creative. Your food and your story is what this city is built upon. Your, your guy from Honduras making Tex-Mex. You know, with uh, European training <laughs> and American. And I choose to work with Latin flavors and make the uh, original New Paris one of the best restaurants in history. If I was to cut my wrist, uh, my, my arm open, I'd be bleeding 808. 808. Be, be bleeding Hawaii, you'd probably do the same. Bleeding mezcal or, or tequila. <laughs> <laughs> There's orange, tamarind, sugar, green onion, cayenne pepper. 